Well, how about it, everybody? It's your boy, Fred Tinoco. I'm over here picking up some scripts at my CVS. I come here to CVS as simply as a matter of nostalgia because I had a CVS on campus um, when I was a... Yeah, funny thing, I was talking about campus on the last video. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah. How about it, Tiger fans? Both Jalen Duran and Imani Bates are coming over to Memphis to play basketball. Just heard from Dick Vitale. Dick Vitale even took the trouble to post a specific video about it on his personal B. It's awesome, baby! whoop de doo skippy doo We're going to see not one but two diaper dandies in Memphis. <laughs> but y'all did not I could imitate Dick Vitale like that. And I got other ones up my sleeve, I'll tell you what. But, yeah, it's awesome. But, uh, you know how... how... <sighs> Even the last guy on the bench in Memphis, you know, we have such a talented roster coming in for basketball. Vegas has, has a, some very um, probable odds for us to, uh, us, listen to me. And I have no affiliation with the University of Memphis. For the University of Memphis to make it and win the national to title again and win the national title. Ain't that awesome? Anyhow, um, but uh, yeah, so every, it seems like everybody, except maybe the coach's son, is like a real talent that could start in um, at uh, other Division One programs, even the high major ones. Uh, but uh, yeah, but the, here's the problem with that. A lot of the kids come from neighborhoods, well, families, not family, neighborhoods, uh, and the families, the families where um, they are the families and have been the focal point for the family for uh, a meal ticket for basically social and economic advancement to get them out of the working class. And uh, sorry that James Wiseman had some influences um, really weighing down on him from within his camp uh, while he was and before he was at the University of Memphis. A couple of years ago for that brief stint um but uh yeah there are not enough minutes to go from everybody except maybe imani and uh imani and jalen and landers nolly and uh i forget uh, uh williams everybody else is going to probably have to fight for minutes May maybe even lester uh but uh yeah it's going to be tough um you know, families are going to ha are going to be complaining to Penny or the athletic office or the athletic director, blah, 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 blah. My baby's not getting enough minutes. How is he supposed to go pro? Blah, 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 blah. It's just about, it's just about winning, baby. Come on. Unless your person, your, your meal ticket is a senior, then next year, hmm. <laughs> Next year, but next year we'll probably end up getting um, Dewan Wagner Jr., just like we got Dewan Wagner Sr. back around the year 2000 or so under Calipari. Uh, but uh, anyway, yeah, so these parents are going to be complaining, complaining. Yeah, yeah, the only parents, yeah, the only, their, their only agenda is that good because it's their livelihood at stake in their minds um, that their, 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 their prize has got to, their prize little boy. Has got to get the minutes. He got the chance to play and be have the play drawn up for him. <laughs> right now, <laughs> there's only about three or four tigers for which tiger. You know, it's going to be they're going to have to they're going to have to have plays drawn up for them, and so they'd better reach down deep inside to fight for those minutes. But uh, anyhow, um, yeah, so it's kind of dire situation, and it's very similar to how it is right now in. Uh, Emergency units right now because um, some people think that uh, they can berate the. Uh, um, it's gotten so crazy at the ICUs with all the COVID patients, especially the critical ones that already have a plastic tube down their mouth, uh, down, down their throat. Um, yeah, we'll do. You, you give them this, give them that, give them that a uh, horse medicine, give them that cow medicine. Uh, give them this other therapy that may now no longer be available uh, anywhere because it's on back order. So and so and so and so. Got you know, it's 
there's going to be a lot of gnashing and teeth and wailing right now because people don't get the vaccine. Oh, it's about uh, government control. The government is trying to control you by muzzling you so you don't speak and whatever. Listen, the people, the power, like Jesus takes care of his people. God's made you in your own image. Or look at the historical, uh, uh, look at what Hitler did. Look at what Stalin did, blah, 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 with the, Stalin did with the chicken or Hitler did with the guns and so and so and so and so. Listen, man, I tell you the historical president, look at the Spanish flu of a hundred years ago. We don't learn, do we? We don't learn. We don't learn. We don't learn. We don't learn. That's the historical precedent. Nobody's gone to jail for revealing the true intent of the government or whatever because there is no conspiracy. Julian Assange went is in jail because he's revealing tremendous truths right now. Oh, and you know, you got three million uh, views on on a video where he says that uh, uh, the war in Afghanistan, which basically was about to f the funneling money to politically connected uh, uh, defense contractors in Europe and the U.S. Well, okay. See, that's a conspiracy. That's when you, the government's trying to hide something. They put that person in jail and muzzle them, okay? There's nobody getting muzzled right now over the COVID. Hardly, uh, <laughs> hardly even these jackasses that are um, on AM radio. And so they're dying off too. All these pastors are dying off. These pastors that were you're saying, don't only sissies get, uh, get, uh, get the vaccine. Uh, or these shock jocks. Now some athletes, children are getting this disease because they're going back to school and some knuckleheads or, I don't know, diabolical, um, you know, diabolical political beasts are, um, who have the vaccine themselves are trying to get people to uh, resist the mask mandates that other, that uh, local jurisdictions are putting on their schools. And you have parents fist fighting with children about this. I don't know, man. Okay, fine. Natural selection. Natural selection. Y you're the idiots. If you're on the fence about it, don't be one of these idiots. You see all these deaths. You see some... I mean, I see... Um, Things on uh, Instagram where the cute girls are bawling because their moms are on life support right now. They can show their booty in public. They can sure cry in public. I tell you what, it's crazy. <sighs> Anyhow, stop. Okay, have it end with you. The pandemic can end with you. You may get sick, but the chance that you are going to be on life support is very minimal. And the chance that you're going to die if you get vaccinated is insignificant. Those are the numbers that are bearing out in the hospitals right now. That's the proof. Don't, there's no test, blah, blah, blah. Dude, those are the numbers in the ICUs right now. The people who, who get um, 90 plus percent of the people in ICUs uh, for COVID have not gotten vaccinated, whereas 60% have not gotten vaxxed out in the general public. And less than one, like a fraction of a percent are the who die have gotten the vaccine. Those are the people who are hard up right now, who are, who are, who have got nine toes in the grave. Okay are the ones who haven't gotten the vaccine. Okay, what else do you need to know? What else do you need to know? I'm telling you, no. I'm gonna be here the next day and the next day and the next day the next day because nobody's gonna throw me in jail because I'm telling you the truth and the government is not trying to hide this truth. 
On the contrary, <laughs> the government needs us. <laughs> Business needs us to stay alive. Bye. See y'all later.